there was a car alarm going off. I don't know if you could hear that, but that's why there was a slight pause. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Thank you for clicking on the video. Now, in about a week's time or probably in a couple of days time when you're watching this video, I am heading to America for three whole weeks to film for a client. So I thought it was very relevant to film a what's in my camera bag video. Now I try to pack as light as possible. I don't want to be lugging around loads of gear. So if you're a light packer or if you want to know how to pack slightly lighter, then this video is for you. So first up, and probably the most obvious is the camera bag. I'm going to go all magic hands here. So I have got the Gomatic Peter McKinnon camera bag. Um, I've only just recently purchased this. I believe it is 25 liters. And if I just flip it over here, I can undo it. So we've got here a laptop slot, which is a nice big size. So here we've got like the, the dividers or the little boxes that they come in. These are extra. Um, I went with these, you can get two of them. I think you can also get dividers, but these are quite nice. It fits a camera in there, it fits a lens, it fits a few other bits and bobs. Then up here you have easy access to the bit at the top. And then over here, if we slide, we also have these zips again, where you can put maybe your passport, a few cables, etc. It's just nice, compact, it's tidy, it's sturdy, which is the main thing. It's just a nice overall camera bag. So then at the top here, we have this other compartment, which is just a nice easy access compartment. So I can flick the bag off of my shoulder and I can have, I don't know, maybe it's my passport, my headphones, whatever it might be in here. And it's just super easy to get to. And then on the sides here, you also have little, these are magnetized by the way, which is quite cool. Little magnetized bits where I can put my, my water bottle or you can put maybe a small tripod in there um, or whatever you want to put in there really. But yeah, a good overall backpack. Okay, so next up we have the MacBook Pro. So this is the 2021 model. This is the M1 Pro chip one. Um, and yeah, I will do a review on this very soon. But honestly, this thing is amazing. Probably one of the best investments I've made for a while. It just makes my life super, super easy. It's small, it's compact. It does exactly what I want it to do. And I didn't even get the fully specced out version. This has just got 16 gigs of RAM and it's got one terabyte hard drive. The only thing that I increased was the graphics card. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was. That I think like increased it to, but I increased the graphics card, so yeah. 16 gigas of memory, RAM, whatever you want to call it. It is the M1 MacBook Pro, uh, 14 inch. And yeah, this thing is just an absolute beast and makes my life a hell of a lot easier when traveling because I can just take my work with me wherever I go. Next, we have the microphone, which this is probably going to be my workhorse whilst I'm away. This is the Rode NTG. You would have seen a video, my last video, in fact, that I posted was all about this microphone. So if you want to check that out, then click the link wherever it might be on the screen. Um, but yeah, this thing's an absolute workhorse. It's a beast. It's super easy to use. It just plugs in when you want to use it. You turn the camera on, it turns on. When you turn the camera off, it turns off. It has this nice little dial here, which means you can adjust the volume. And yeah, it's just small, it's compact. I can take this off and it's just like, look at the size of that, it is tiny. Now, another microphone I'm gonna use is these. These are the Rode Wireless Goes, and this is the number two version, which means there are two of these. So I can get the audio from two people at once um, and they come in as two separate audio sources, which is really, really nice, especially when you're filming the gym and you wanna film two people. It's nice to have that luxury. And then it has a little magnet here. So I can literally just clip this onto the, the talent, the, the client, and then we are good to go. You don't need a lav, you don't need anything. The little microphone thing is up there. And yeah, it's just a really nice compact little thing. And again, really good for traveling. Okay, I'm gonna throw you here and this is gonna really confuse you. I am actually gonna take this. This is my little film camera. This is the Olympus MJU or Muju or whatever you wanna call it, the first edition. I actually need to get this fixed. Um, for some reason, the camera roll isn't actually rolling at the moment. So I need to go get that sorted out. But imagine, <laughs> Imagine this is the Sony a7S III. The reason I say imagine is because what I'm filming on right here is the Sony a7S III and I don't have two of them. So I'm gonna be taking the Sony a7S III, again, an absolute beast, an absolute workhorse. Again, if I've done a full video on this, so go click the link wherever it may be. Yeah, that, that Sony a7S III, I don't think I'll be changing for quite some time. Now this is actually my old lens. So this is the Tamron 28 to 75 mil. 2.8. I used this for years. It was probably about, this was the first lens that I actually got. So I've had it for about 
four years. It was the first lens I ever got and it's the only lens that I ever used, but I've recently upgraded to what I'm using right now, which is the Sigma 24 to 70 f2.8. Just wanted something a little bit different. It was a little bit sharper and I heard loads of good reviews about it. So I got it and to be honest, I'm never gonna look back. It's a great, great lens. And again, what for what I do, I need that variable focal lengths. I need something where I can zoom in, zoom out. I can have it wide, I can have it close. And this is just an absolute beast. But I just use this because it, um, it mimics the 24 to 70. But I won't actually be taking this. I'll be taking the Sigma. So where we're going in America, we are going to Florida and we are going to Texas. So therefore it's gonna be very, very sunny. So I'm gonna be taking this. This is the Peter McKinnon number two edition, two to five stop variable ND filter. Next up we have headphones and these are my absolute workhorses. I've had these for maybe a couple of years now. These are the Bose noise cancelling 700s, I believe. And honestly, obviously there's loads of new models that have come out. There's some Sony alternatives, but I have no issues with these whatsoever. The battery life is good, they're comfortable, they're still quite small compact despite being over-ear headphones. And yeah, they're just really, really good headphones. So whenever I'm editing, probably even on the plane, I'm going to use these. They have a nice little compact case. I'll just whack these on. They just like block out the background noise and they're just super, super easy to use. And again, the, the, the audio quality on these is insane. They're so, so good. And just as a backup, I'm also gonna take my Apple AirPod Pros. Again, these are super good headphones. Like the, the quality of these rivals that of the Bose headphones, just in a very, very small form factor. Um, so I'll be taking these probably, again, I might use these on the plane depending on how busy it is. If I'm going on walks and I will listen to listen to a podcast or something like that. If I'm just like taking a break from editing, these are gonna be very useful. Or if the other headphones need charging, then these are a great alternative. Again, I wouldn't really notice the sound difference or the quality difference. Um, I just prefer using the over-ear headphones, but these are very, very good. Very, very good. I've had these for about six months now. I got them around Christmas time. And yeah, I've got no complaints with these. And finally is going to be the hard drive. So this is the two terabyte SanDisk SSD drive. These are really good. One, look at the size of that. That is tiny. It's probably about half the size of a regular sized iPhone. Um, it's super lightweight, it's easy to use. They are quick, they're reliable. And since using these, I used to use the lazy, lacy ones, L-A-C-I-E. Um, but I actually had a couple of those like pretty much malfunction on them. Um, yeah, essentially just stopped reading all the data on it. Not gonna lie, the customer service for that was really good and they did manage to get back a lot of the files, but still I did not want that stress. So I moved over to these um, from a recommendation from another videographer and they are so good. They are so, so good. Had no issues with them so far. And yeah, these are gonna be my workhorses whilst away. And yeah, that is pretty much everything. That is everything that I'm gonna be taking with me. Obviously, I'm gonna have my bag, which has all my clothes and whatnot. And I'm also gonna be taking chargers and cables, etc. But that is the main camera gear that I would be taking for a trip like this. So nothing fancy. I'm not taking loads of gear, okay? I'm just taking one camera body, one lens, a couple of mics, that's about it. I'm not even taking a monitor, which if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know the reason behind that. But essentially, a little roundup for you is I was finding that for the type of content I have been shooting recently, it was slowing my process down. And essentially I wanna make sure that I get the shot, I tell the story, and the monitor was just slowing that process down. So in this case, it actually works in my favor because I'm not gonna be taking it with me. So if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. I know there's a few of you that watch the videos but aren't actually subscribed. So if you can subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, any comments, I'll obviously leave them in the section be below. Um, anything that you want to see, anything you want me to do, let me know. Um, and yeah, I will see you in, see you, see you, see you in the next video.